Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the new safe bar. We are jumping in again and we are gonna roll as... We did, we did Tainted Mastema last time and it was, a, it was a lot of fun. Did we end up winning that run? I think we did. I think we did. Um... Let's play as Fiend. I haven't played as him in a while and I find him kind of difficult. Oh wait, we got a win streak of zero so we must have died. Uh, what did we die to? I don't remember. Anyways, we'll play as Fiend. He is reasonably difficult, um, but an interesting character nonetheless, and we've got quite a few unlocks to get as Fiend, so why the hell not? Uh, as for the question of the day, let's 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 get up the old chat GPT, because I need to be using that way more often, really. It's uh it's kind of important to use it because I can't think of good questions of the day anymore. My brain has ceased to exist. No, but it is, it is just a lot easier to do it this way. Um, let's see what we've got going on here. Um, that's the same question I already asked, you fool. Come on. I'm trying to generate a response and it's not, it's not having it. It's not having it. Let's just try and think of one the, the normal way with my brain and such. This guy starts with good damage as well. I always forget that, although slightly lower fire rate than average, I think. But we get the little fireballs and stuff too. Um, hmm... What's one thing that you would cur currently change about the modern age? Like, what's something like either technology-wise or just the way that you think? What's one thing you'd really like to see the perception changed of? That'd be kind of interesting, because... I don't know, it's... Oh, really? It's such a bad hit. Um, It's really... It's, it's sort of a hard... Oh my god, I don't need to do that. It's kind of a hard thing to sort of answer, really, but I think that everyone's got their own sort of specific opinion on that sort of thing. There's, there's clearly... Oh my god. There's clearly some... Um, some aspects of life that everyone has an issue with, or some people specifically have an issue with and some people don't. Okay, thank god I got him before he latched onto that last poop. What does this guy do again? Okay, split shot. That's fine. Ooh, hello. You're gonna give me a fiend heart? I'm not gonna get that last one there, that's fine. Oh my god, we've got so many of these little flies about. We're getting so many of these hearts, though. I'm liking that a lot. I'm liking that a lot. But yeah, I'm trying to get my question of the day out as early into the episode as I can, because I've noticed that, like... If I, if I ask it later, some people either miss it or... Yeah, it's just better to, to, to throw it in as early as possible. See what you guys think. But yeah, they do get difficult. Uh, another question of the day here is just give me more suggestions for questions of the day. I, I always love seeing them. I always come back to them and utilize them. Um, so it'd be nice to see more suggestions for what I could ask. Because yeah, I'm sure you guys have some better ideas than I do. Oh, we are getting hella HP here. It's not even a guarantee that that gives HP, so we're getting kind of lucky to be getting as much as we are currently. Good, you're dead. My bad, but that's okay. Give me all those hearts back. Oh yeah, baby. Right, and then this is a real good item. Peppermint is ace. Basically, um, also it's got a specific sprite with Fiend by the looks of it. Um, we fire out white fires that will uh, freeze enemies. We saw in a previous episode just how dominant it can be. Um, I think it was in the deleted uh, video we did with greed mode. Ended up being really good. Don't worry about losing my HP there, that's fine. Two little monsters. We'll take care of them reasonably easy. I can't believe I missed that one. But yeah, we fire out quite a lot of fires and they do good damage and freeze. They've got like multi-purpose to them, so it can be really damn good. Thank you, minions. And we got a black heart. So we want to be taking those two black heart and then this one for the fiend heart. Oh, that gives a black heart as well. Okay, that's fine though. We've now got some layered HP. Um, and we'll try and do a mother run. Perhaps try and do a mother run. Um, we're just going to go down here. We'll pop our stars card straight away here because we don't currently have a key. Makes sense to save ourselves a key here. I'll be taking whatever the other item is. Euphoria, it's it's not amazing, but it's also not terrible. Especially with low fire rate here, it's it's not awful. It's just I just wish that if you were still holding the fire the fire button and you switch direction, it would still count rather than completely cancelling it. Also, we have to double tap to shoot our fires, which makes it even worse. It's not a great item for us, but arguably, is it better than piggy bank? I don't really know. I I think so. Piggy bank is kind of one of those items that, like, unless you've got a way of get like hurting yourself a lot, it's pretty inconsequential. Every 
everything's frozen. It's just such a like I love freezing as a as a just thing in this game. Freezing's a lot of fun, but this version of it with this setup is so goddamn good. Get okay, careful because these guys can dash across the, uh, the the waters. But also, like, look, it didn't even freeze that guy. It just slowed him down, and then he got frozen after the slowdown. It's just perfect. We still got another fish boy here. Another fish boy. No, thank you. Okay. But yeah, did we get... I, I was going to say, did we get a one makes you smaller? No, we got Binky, didn't we? Binky is a one makes you smaller. This is a slightly awful room. Um, but it's a room that we could potentially get a lot of HP in if we play our cards right. There's a heart there. Managed to get it. Nice one. Our black hearts have escaped us here. That's all right. Did we, wait, which one of those hearts, did one of my heart, black hearts disappear there? It was, I had two black heart babies and I only got half a black heart back. Is that how that works? Is that always how that works? I did not know. This guy's pissing into a bucket. Yeah. I think we're fine here. Freeze you. Good, good. We didn't. We went to item room. We don't need to go to shop here. Let's um, let's rack up Euphoria before we head into the boss fight. I think it's. I think it carries over through rooms. Okay. It does carry. Uh, it doesn't carry over through rooms. Okay. This makes this makes Euphoria just a generally really bad item. Like I. Just very very hard to make a lot of use out of. I'm just going to lay fires around as much as I can. But yeah. Not being able to carry it through rooms and not being able to change the direction you're firing. Both makes it pretty bad. We get Placenta here. Um, Devil Deal's probably not a great idea here with the current health setup. We'll go Angel Deals um, and we'll keep on moving. Yeah, keep on moving. We need to get a key piece on the next floor, but that's no problem. Keep forgetting we have Holy Mantle unlocked now, so that's actually not as hard as it as it once was. Whoa. Excuse me, what, what are you? Don't know what enemy that is. Confusing. It looks like one of the little anal bean enemies that you get sometimes when you're fighting um, Lust. It's still horrific. Still a horrible, horrible thing that the diffs have done there. But it's what, it's what it kind of looked like. It looked like a single one of those. Just, just a single bead. Oh, really? That hit me? It's okay, though. We've just got you. Luckily, we've got pretty nicely layered HP here. Um, so, we're getting a good... Like, we're not losing a lot of HP when we get hit. And a nice even spread. But even rooms like this, Euphoria just isn't that good. Because it's hard for me to line up with, with everyone. You've made it a little easier for me. Thank you. But yeah, I, I really thought you'd be able to at least carry it over between rooms. Seems a bit mean that you can't. Oh, that was such a good shot with that then. See you there doing your business. Managing to freeze things I'm not even intending to freeze is great. And it's just freezing left, right, and center. I love it. Explosive boys. Couldn't remember what you did. Wasn't privy to it. Oh, God. Not a good hit there at all. I just like, launch myself out of the room. Take out these guys. And then, I'm going to wait a hot minute here. Fine, it's fine, it's fine. Oh, wait, do I do I only generate the, the fireballs when I'm firing? I think I do. Okay, there you go. What I wanted... I think I only generate them while I'm firing, which I wasn't aware of before. Let's try and find that item room first. Come back and we'll grab that uh, white fire as well. God damn, I love the mod that makes so you destroy fires and poops in one hit when you're not in combat. Such like that's that's a quality of life thing that should just be in the game. Oh, that's such a cool freeze for him. I wonder if I can um oh god, I'm trying to knock this guy around, but it won't work. Um I wonder if I can. Blow up. Okay, we'll take whatever this golden one is. The glowing hourglass. Now, that's actually not bad to be gold, to be honest. It's not a great item. But I'm pretty sure golden actives just have their car battery defects. And this definitely will work with car battery. It'll have double duration. 
And considering the, the main problem with the hourglass is just that it doesn't have good duration, it, like, it's, it's, it's a pretty good get. I'm, I'm, I'm reasonably happy with that. Reasonably happy. But yeah, that poop thing is just kind of a quality of life thing that should just be in the game by default, really. We do need two bombs here, so don't use any more than this one. A few pennies here. Nothing much. Right, so... Can't use a bomb on this guy, sadly. Excuse me, lad. That was a bit rude. We've done really good damage to him. Unfortunately, the slowdown here is not good. Oh, no, no, he jumped out again. Nice. Wasn't expecting that. Oh, uh, he did that, though. Very annoying. Does that tail coming? Tail? No, still no tail. I actually got really good damage on him before the tail. But yeah, that, that definitely was double duration on that, right? That, that lasted a really long time. Don't know how I didn't take damage there, but I'm happy I didn't. Definitely taking damage there, though, yep. Whirling Leech is fine. Um, and then we've got to go do our fires. Okay, health isn't great now. It's fine, but it's not great. Have we done boss rushes this guy? We haven't done boss rushes, so there's a potential for that, but honestly... No super high chance, considering we're playing pretty slow right now, I'd say. We'll see how the mines go. They might end up being a lot quicker. There we go. And we've actually got a straight shot to our uh, thingy here. Nice one. We could do our boss again, but honestly, Wormwood is not one that I fancy doing multiple times, because he's kind of a tricky guy with only the Holy Mantle to save us. But yeah, we've actually got a really good setup with our active. We can get 9 volt or something to charge it even quicker. Now that would really make this insanely good. Um, so we'll, we'll kind of hope for that coming up. Right. And we got two extra bombs on that as well. It's very nice. Take care of that. Through. Yeah, we'll see how the mines go here. Hopefully something good, but yeah, I, I basically any room that looks even slightly difficult. I'm going to be using my active Okay, that that enemy keep what the fuck they're keeling over for like what the hell they're like Okay, slow down for some reason is very inconsistent with these guys And I've been hit now and um, they don't they don't flip over correctly. Like, normally they stay with their butt in the air for quite a long time. You see what I mean? Look, they stay with their butt in their, the air for quite a long time. But when they're slowed down, they just get up immediately. That's that's not how that should work. That is incorrect. Haha, no fire for you. No fire for you indeed. We'll check in here for a potential heart. Uh, we'll get whatever card this is. I can't remember what this does. Spawns four bombs worth of pickup. Not bad. Not bad. Honestly, picking up, uh, tr getting the, the battery there wouldn't have been a bad shout. Blackheart is actually amazing here. Gives us a bit of a buffer on our HP again. Don't really need to slow you down. It's not much point. Oh god, you don't, you don't work the way I thought you did. But yeah, though he's dead. Bit of a tricky enemy there, to be honest. This room will slow down because we've got jumping boys. But yeah, this is how the hourglass should behave with this like this amount of duration. Although you probably want to up, up the quality by one if this was the case. But yeah, normally it just doesn't last long enough at all. But when it's doubled, hell yeah. Ow. Got a bit of health back there though. Don't know what's going on with this room, so we'll uh, do this. Oh dude, this is... Kind of a tricky enemy to have in a small room like this, to be honest. I think, I'm guessing there's two of them. There is two of them. Still up there. Still slowed. Right. Just to speed this whole process up. Look, look, look at the frame rate when you kill that enemy. Come on now. It's silly. <laughs> that is silly. I don't think item room's going to be this way. I think we have to backtrack. I think we're probably not going to make a boss rush, I'll be honest. We'll try, but... Oh, that was such a bad hit. Such a bad hit. Oh, 
Yeah. Just get a freeze on that guy while he was traveling. Uh, out of that guy. We're getting consistent hearts, which is nice. Oh, what the fuck? There's a, a little horn fell in here. A little bit too late on uh, using my active there. I should have used it at the start of the room. Interesting idea for a room, to be honest. I kind of like it. Dude, this enemy is rough. I'm getting hit a lot. Also, Whirling Leech is not spawning anywhere near as many leeches as I remember it spawning. Is this here. Especially with enemies that I don't really understand. Oh, I still got hit. Oh my god. I'm, I'm taking a lot of poor damage here. I'll certainly admit to that. Only thing that's slightly annoying here is if I take another mystery item and it ends up being an active and then we have to put glowing hourglass down, it'll no longer be gold. Golden actives are only gold until you put them down, which is kind of annoying, but I sort of understand the limitation there. Don't like the idea of this room. It's actually pretty easy. Let's see what we've got going on here. Um, yeah, we'll take the random. I'm so glad I took the random. Wow, it's so much better than the uh, Umbra thing, whatever it's called. That, that thing is like, it's a, it's a quality three and I really think it should be a quality one. It's not very good at all in my opinion. But yeah, Cricket's head here. Puts us in a way better spot than we just were in. Make our way back over. And this should help out a lot with this fight. Oh no, okay. It doesn't help at all. I was like, oh, it's going to slow him down so much. It doesn't slow him down the tracks even a little bit. I don't think at least. It doesn't look like it's slowing him down. It might be actually. It's hard to tell. Nice. I did get our angel deal finally. Vanilla wafer. Um, I don't think that does anything at all for us, unfortunately. That's a shame. That's a real shame. Down we go. So, unfortunately, devil slash angel deals have been a little bit abysmal for us thus far. We have to kind of accept it for what it is. Luckily, we're doing a lot more damage through and through here. I like that quite a bit. I like that quite a bit. But yeah, kind of a, kind of an odd run here. Don't don't you slow down on these guys because it breaks them. Weird that. Very strange. This, I mean, to be fair, I mean it is modded Isaac, but there's a lot of like very strange oddities like that in modding and in just in Isaac in general. The, there's like a lot of things as well that like I kind of learnt this watching. Um, Watching Dark Viper, who's, like, new to the game. There's so many things in Isaac that, like, oh my goodness, wasn't expecting that. That we just kind of assume nowadays, and, like, all of us just kind of know and accept. That are, like, really unintuitive, um, if you think about it. Virgo, that's pretty good. All positive pills, um, is rather nice. Weird that there's three items in the game that give you all positive pills, isn't it? Seems like a lot. <laughs> What the hell are you doing? Creating some fire? Do I blow you up? No? Okay. Actually, to be fair, we should uh, grab this guy. Ah, bugger. At least it gave us a slightly higher angel chance, but I don't think that's going to matter. Good. Not bad at all. <laughs> the slow-mo pushing of you is quite funny. Nice heart there. Get some freezies going on. Ooh, that got a bit weird there. He kind of like semi passed through. Ooh, damn, we are, we are looking good for money right now. We'll check out the shop if we can. 
But yeah, I'm currently backlogging videos ready for uh, a wedding that I've got coming up this weekend. Uh, it's not my wedding, it's my cousin's. <laughs> I've said that a few times where I've got a wedding coming up and people are like, oh, are you getting married? No, no, I'm not. I don't know when I'm getting married. I've not really planned that. <laughs> I've not really planned that far, I'll be honest. I mean, do you know what? I'll take it. Pretty nice stuff there, pretty nice stuff. We'll slow this down as well. Good, and then shop. Do you have anything good for us? Unfortunately, only actives. I think we'll just bounce now. I'll try and speed things up a little bit. And Gideon. Gideon shows up so often on this, uh, this floor. He is one of only a few bosses, but it would be nice to see more. Oh, dude. I didn't even realise that the fire turns those enemies, t turns those coals into fire coals. It's kind of interesting, actually. I never really thought about that. Yeah, be careful around these. I really need to get another um, heart from using one of my fires to keep myself safe. At the minute, a lot of my hearts are on the floor. You do your thing, buddy. You do your thing. We're at four out of six. We're not doing too bad. We're actually in a bad spot here in terms of location. Hey, we've actually done a good here. Oh, really? You had to spawn him directly on top. Like, all our buddies went one half and I went the other half. It kind of worked out. They're getting crits. Oh, my God. Okay, we're one hit away from death here. Let's be careful. Yeah, we're fine. Certainly a little bit scary. Not ideal at all, but we got it. And we are good to go. Okay. Fire rate's looking better now as well. It's kind of a weird run, this one. We've not really got anything super stellar going on. It's, I think our peppermint is like the best thing kind of we've got in our repertoire. Everything else is pretty normal. I mean, obviously Cricket's head is really, really, really good. But... God, I hate this enemy so much. Such a deep passion of hatred. Go away. Um, But, like, Cricket's head isn't anything special. It's just damage. Dude, this enemy again? You're really going to do this to me? I hate this enemy so much. Got a bunch of ghosty boys here. Really need to build up some more HP here. Definitely not in a good spot. Don't want to take the reflected bombs. I don't think I've got more than enough of those. It's like I'm trying to sort of work up to do boss rush here, but I've not really got the HP to go for boss rush, I'll be honest. You're all right, sir. You're all right. Spawning a lot of shots. The enemies are really weird as well. Kind of helped with just clearing out the room there. We get staple, which is another huge bump in damage. Awesome. Damn it, missed with that. Really needed that to work out for me. Hey, there you go. We're getting a little bit of HP here and there. Are these homing shots? I can't tell. You are teleporting on me, though. Don't like that. Throws you out. Lovely. Oh my god, perfect. That was really, really perfect. Just the, 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 the whole idea of like lobbing enemies around and freezing them, it's just, it's just so satisfying. Like it just ultimately is like so goddamn satisfying. More health there. Good thing is we do have obviously this, this way of just generating a lot of extra HP with the fires. It's just, it's not super, super easy to just do. If it's plausible, it's not always going to pan out that way. We did get a tainted treasure room here. Um, hmm. I'm unsure how this works. 
I'm gonna try it. Okay, it gave us damage. I was hoping it would do double our damage from 10, but it doesn't. Still though, 13 damage. Our, our damage can no longer go any higher than this, which is... It sounds kind of bad, but I actually think overall that's not a big problem. Because I think that we've only got realistically one more floor to get items. And we'd have to get a damage item out of that. You watch we get like Sacred Heart now. Freeze you out. Lovely. Interesting, yeah. Don't know how good that is, I'll be honest. I see you there as well, Tinted Rock. Health is looking a lot better. Still need black hearts to like interlock with our regular hearts so we don't just lose all of our uh, fiendish hearts at once. That'd be nice, but apparently we ain't so lucky. Oh god. Kind of forgot those things moved, I'll be honest. This is kind of a rough room, to be honest. It's kind of hard to like, there's just a lot of rocks in the way, so it's kind of hard to shoot this guy reliably. Once it's done, it's done. I guess. Why not? Get to hit the tough cookie. But yeah, 13 damage is not a really high amount. But it's not super likely we'd get higher anyways. Can you can you stop? Thank you. Where's that item room? Um, I'm confused by this room. Oh, I see now. I see. This, I, I, I'm not a fan of this. Not a fan of this room. I got invincibility, which helped me out a lot there. Of course, it's something that gives us a damage. Of course, it is. I should have waited for taking that item, shouldn't I? Damn you! I mean, still, this is a good item to take. I like the knockback, but that—that that is a bit of a slap in the face, isn't it? I could have had plus two extra damage. On top of what I currently have. What the hell is this guy doing? Fireballs aren't generating much health for me right now. It's upsetting. But yeah, of course I get a goddamn damage up item. Why wouldn't I? Very typical of the game to do something like that. Kind of need to be quicker here, but I also want to make sure to go to my shop. Because I've got a lot of money. Um, how do I- how do I kill you, exactly? Okay, there you go. Really? I spent extra time coming to get you and this is what I get as my reward. Not that Midas' touch is bad, but not exactly what I was looking for. Right, we are the golden boy now. We are the golden boy. Go. About five minutes, about four and a half minutes, maybe a little bit less, three and a half minutes to do our next floor. This is the wrong way to, that's great. A little bit of extra wasted time, you know, you know how it be. Nice and easy kill. Also, I need to destroy the skull here because I forgot to do that before. There you go. Thank you for reminding me to do that. Breath of life. What mm, What the hell, game? <laughs> My angel deals over the past few days have been terrible. Terrible. Right. We kind of need to beeline it here to get the boss done. Uh, get the uh, item room done and the boss straight away. I'm hoping, I was just about to say, I'm hoping I can go the right way straight away here, but it's not so easy. Easier said than done. Oh my god. Stop it, game. Let me go the right way, please. Also, a saw blade enemy, not something I like the look of. I need my hearts back, game. Come on. Okay, item room good. 
Got hit there, apparently. Don't know what by. Lost a lot of my HP here. HP really is not in a good spot. Little horn, take random quints I'm more happy with. Good, good. I take the random item a lot. <laughs> I, I gamble a lot with this. Right. 23 minutes. We've got two minutes to get, get there and kill mum. And we went the wrong way again. My goodness. Why? just dead. Didn't need to use the uh, thingy. Oh my god, how did I not take damage there? What the fuck? I have no idea how I didn't take damage there. Quick check in the shop. Really? You're gonna waste my time with this? I actually can't believe you, game. Just unfathomable amounts of annoyance. We're not going to make boss rush here, are we? At least the slowdown allows us to use bombs a little more often. Okay, we made it. We actually made boss rush. Tough love, reasonably decent. We don't have we don't have good luck. Uh, concussion. I think we're just gonna have to take tough love, aren't we? We'll see if we can actually like get through this now. Good thing about tough love is it doesn't give us straight damage, but it does augment our damage a lot. Only thing is about this, it's very very easy for us to die in this, because if we get hit, we lose a lot of our HP, and if we get hit again, we're one hit off death. And we're clearly not killing stuff very quickly. Also, this guy is taking a very long time to die for the amount of damage I have. I would have thought that would have been a lot quicker. Good thing is, we get almost permanent slowdown, because we get our slowdown every single wave. I didn't think about that. That helps a lot. Also, Quince. I forgot about Quince as well. Yeah, fireballs generating like crazy too. Yeah, we just slow everything down. The knockback's actually kind of inconvenient with some of these bosses, you know. <laughs> I would have thought it'd be really, really nice to have, but... Knockdown on bosses is kind of frustrating. Luckily, this is going alright. Don't know why I slowed down before it spawned, to be honest. It's a bad idea. But like with this guy, for example, I'd rather just bomb him and... Oh, got Bicycle Boy as well here. Bicycle Boy is a massive pain in the ass. That That's the attack I care. Pisses me off. So now we're in a rough state. But it's weird. We, we, we just gained a lot more damage because we've now got our little buddies to, like, take on stuff for us. But at the same time, we're in a much riskier state now because one more hit and we're one hit off death. Kind of an interesting one, really. That's nice. Okay, that, that, that has helped us out immensely grabbing that. Immensely, so... Another heart there that I couldn't get, god damn it. Firing off fireballs like a madman. This guy doesn't do the wall chasey thing that uh, Haunt does either, so you can kind of push him against the wall. We've got the ghostly version of this guy. You are oh, the, the the people's eyes are shooting. You've got to be very aware of that. I did not notice that. That must be a champion thing. Kind of spooky. This is going surprisingly well thus far. 
I should be using Euphoria more often as well. I realise I'm using my Fireballs, so I don't use Euphoria too much, but... Honestly, I think the extra fire rate is probably far more superior. This is up to 7.5, like, yeah. This is way better. We're firing more white fires as well. Also, something destroyed all the rocks in the middle. I'm very grateful for that. Because those rocks in the middle are actually kind of a pain. There's a heart back over there. Dead. You're dead. Okay. I'm happy enough at the minute. The knife's also nice too. We're getting the knife that's just like... One that opens the door that's just slicing through enemies here and there. Don't mind that at all. Oh my god, the knockback. I can't even hit this guy. There you go. Got a techno pin. The big guy just insta-died there. I think my little minions got on him and did some of their stuff. Also, the, the fires from Peppermint also block shots like other fires do too, so they're just amazing. Objectively amazing. Got to be like a few waves off now, I think. I Somehow Midas touched to that guy as he spawned in. I'm not quite sure how that works. Dude, these guys are rinsing everything. Stay out of the way of him. A few explosions here and there. Wow, okay. That went alarmingly well. I think we came out of it with more HP than we went into it with as well, which is kind of surprising. Okay, we also got Slippy Tooth, which is not bad at all. Get Euphoria going. Euphoria is better than using our fires. I think our fires in regular rooms are important, but against bosses, not as much so. And we fire more white fires as well this way, which is good for protecting us. Great stuff. Nice one. Okay, things are going reasonably well. Health is scary for Mother because we don't have any splits, we don't have any black hearts to break it up. But it's not terrible. Um, lots of tokens. Kind of an interesting room, actually, that. Ability to play around with a bunch of tokens. I like it. Do not like these enemies that bounce around like mad lads. Good. Oh, what the fuck? I don't even know what hit me then. I think I, like, broke a little egg sack and it spewed a bunch of maggots onto me or something. One of these little things here. It's slightly confusing for me. Nice. Bunch of frails. That euphoria going. Probably shouldn't break them both at once because they can both brimstone, but done now. Okay, good. That actually works out just fine. Secret disc is probably good to hold on to for the boss fight. Could potentially be quite lucrative. Oh my god, bad hit there. What's left? There's an enemy left in here. Oh, it's this little sack over here. Still looking fine on HP. It's a little scary, but nothing we can't handle. Don't know what's the deal with these guys. Also don't know what the deal is with these guys either. A lot of enemies on the on the corpse floor, I'll be honest, I just do not understand really. Luckily, we're pressing through quite nicely. Golden key. Doubt we'll get much use out of that on this floor, but we have it now. I like having these bomb grimaces from time to time. Rather nice. Slow down on these guys helps a lot because they teleport around.
getting half hearts like crazy right now. Watch battery? Nah. Good shot, my lad. Good shot. Okay, this is one of the rooms where we have to actually fight the room itself. Always confusing. Always exceedingly confusing. I think we've got to shut all the eyes, don't we? There you go, yeah. It's a really cool idea for a, a room design, like an enemy design, though. Respect that. Boss has got to be any time now. This is a gross room. Don't like it. Okay, got through it. There it is. I love rooms like that with a bunch of small enemies that just spawn all of your quints straight away. Or you're always really looking for Seraphim or Demon Baby. Because they're the ones that can easily hit enemies. Again, with the knockback here, we can keep enemies mostly at bay. And I can um, just hold my Euphoria down. It's going to be very much the same for Mother, I think. We can use Euphoria a little more because we can keep enemies at distance. Enemies that charge at us, we can just kind of keep in the corner. We're going to take damage most likely, but it's working out for now. Oh, it's just, just, just playing keep away. Just playing keep away. Actually went really well. Devil deal instead of angel. We did get two immoral hearts out of this as well. Nice. Probably. Oh, we got a black heart to split it up as well. Nice. Wasn't expecting that, but very, very happy about it. Okay. We've got a bit of a, a breakup now in our HP. Let's give this a good old go. Hopefully we can go the right way straight off the bat here, but we never really know. Oh, damn, these skulls are crazy. They move like crack addicts. Nice. Okay. Get out of this room. I need to save a few bombs for the mother strat of keeping her uh, locked away. I don't really know what to think of this room. Is it going to release these at some point? No, it's not good. I was like, is it going to let them go and let them have their way with me? Because I do not want that. One more of these big stinkers up here. Really cool enemy design there as well. Okay, I didn't take poison damage. Good. I managed to get a heart there as well. We're just freezing so much stuff, it's crazy. Oh, there's, there's an eye in the way. Get out of here, eye. We don't want you around these parts. Ow. Luckily in this scenario here... Okay, I took damage again there. Doesn't matter about the scenario I was trying to talk about, because we got hit again. I did not mean to use that. Bollocks. Well, I mean, to be fair, we didn't get anything super good out of it. But I did not mean to use that. That was an absolute misclick. Open up, you freak. Lost a bit more health than I'd like to before the boss. Oh, for God's sake. I'm not doing all these bloody wrong ways. Go away. Okay. Oh, we got a heart there that I missed as well. Dude! Fuck off. I'm not doing all this crap. Just send me the right way. I love the fact that you can bomb out of rooms. See, people don't use bombing out of rooms anywhere near enough, in my opinion. It's such a valuable strategy. Bring that with us. Of course, that ran out just before we got here. But the items it gave us weren't very good anyways. Oh, we have one of these bomb things in this room. That's not great, because it's, like, kind of right in the way. But 
It does give us unlimited bombs for this fight, which is interesting to, stay, to say the least. Oh, dude, those bombs are doing crazy good damage, too. I didn't think these could spawn in boss fights. Oh my god, they're doing such good damage. There you go, second phase. And it's got him stuck as well a little bit. Yeah, they're doing really good damage. Get shit on, boy. Oh, he kind of got stuck on the actual thing itself there. Oh, shit, he proper landed on me there. Fuck me. I was not expecting that. Look how many fireballs I'm throwing at him right now. What the fuck? Oh my god. I could just get him completely stuck. What the hell? That's awesome. Don't land on me again. You fucker. Anyways, he's dead. Half a heart left. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed that one. That was a lot of fun. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next one, I guess.